Shungite is the highest vibratory stone on the planet. It's equivalent to a solar storm, a magnetic storm. Its energy is off the charts. Uh, simply holding a piece of this size would take pain and inflammation away rapidly. Uh, when I refer to... We're going to take a journey, folks. We're going to take a journey into the Shungite, and I really want you just to relax and let go. Uh, just let let the energy flow because I'm I'm an, I'm about to share with you some information that could very much change your life. Uh, this stone changed my life, and I'm going to share with you ways that we can we can begin to incorporate the fullerene into our lives. The shungai contains fullerenes. Uh, it fullerene is is a it comes from carbon, and this 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 sphere that this is has sixty carbon atoms on the surface of the sphere and it's a sphere within a sphere and see nothing else is like this in the universe uh, this is an extremely stable form of carbon the, uh, the the other two that are similar to it are the diamond and the graphite uh, the, the the graphite planes have loose bonds this would be why a lead pencil uh, would write, for example, uh, this means that some of these bonds erase and they break. The bonds break, uh, but but the shungai does not break. It's it's extremely stable. Uh, it's it's a powerful, powerful stone. Uh, it it helped me to decalcify my pineal gland. It helped to remove the poisons and the metals out of my body, specifically the nanoparticles. I would do an ionic foot bath in Shungite, and it really helped to pull poisons and toxins out of my body. You'll be amazed if you do an analog ionic foot bath, what, what all toxins come out of your body. Get a, uh, a microscope and check your skin and check your food, because you will discover metals everywhere. It's raining down in the air over our head. Their geoengineering is very real. And and we are being poisoned on a daily basis, and Shungite's going to help uh, help to remove some of these poisons and toxins, and it's also going to help to protect you. This is going to be a stone that's going to be fiercely protecting of your of your vibrations, and it's going to amplify your own vibrations. Is what's going to happen because that's what it does. Shungite just pushes energy out. That's all it does. Uh, does it retains the initial memory from when it was created and as I as I mentioned I believe this stone to have been blessed to us for this reason and science is just now beginning to unlock what the fullerene can do they are doing more and more I'll tell you all of the medical science uh, the the one that, the ones that need to be done need to be directed in the form of fullerene and please know that this is being extensively researched for its anti-aging uh, longevity elixir because the fullerene they for example they pulled the fullerene out and they combined it with olive oil and they injected it in uh, rats and the rats live twice as long I mean the rats live quite a while longer uh, than the than the ones that did not get this injection and it would also decrease uh, inflammation in the rats uh, the, the rats that were tumorous so there's many many they, they discovered that it it specifically triggers the master antioxidants in the body, superoxide dismutase, esglutathione transferase, glutathione. These were stimulated uh, with with the fullerene. That's what the fullerene is going to do. It's going to stimulate the free radical scavenging process that the body can naturally produce on its own when we uh, give the cells what the cells require, and the fullerene, the, the, your cell and your your cells and your body are are missing nutrients, and the fullerene is going to provide you these nutrients. Uh, this is a stone that contains nearly all of the elements within it, and then this is a sphere within a sphere on the surface. That's what I'm trying to tell you. There's nothing else like it in the known universe. It emits something called fullerene into the water, and this fullerene. It's going to take care of you. This is a this is a sixty carbon sphere within a sphere that's going to rocket your vibrations to the stars, decrease inflammation right away, pull out heavy metals, toxins, poisons, chemicals. Uh, it really, really helped me. Uh, I I used it 
a lot uh, in the beginning. I, I went through a pretty hardcore detox, and it was 49 days of detoxifying and just juicing mainly. This is how you detoxify your body, is you just flood your body with what the, what the cells need, and that's live amino acids. And so I was juicing. Well, I discovered the Shungite Stone, and, and man, the this really stepped up the detox. I really feel like it would have been a lot longer had I not had the Shungai Stone. I would have been detoxifying probably for months uh, because my body was extremely acidic and extremely poisoned. And this this was the stone that amplified the healing. And I have many other stones. Please know that I love stones. I remember as a child going uh, hunting and searching for stones, and I would love to uh, tumble them myself. And I would make things out of these tumbled stones. And the, you know, somewhere along the path, I got away from that. I got away from searching for stones and liking stones. Of course, I always liked them, but I got away from... Uh, Remembering the moment that mir the, these miracle moments where you are in oneness with the universe, uh, and I was in oneness with the universe as a child when I was out searching for these stones. And if you if you will regress and remember where you came from, you will discover that we came from love, we came from light, we came from divine energy. Uh, this is how the earth was created. This is how we are created, and we're in a vessel. And we're, we're in a prison planet called Earth. And the Shungite Stone is going to help to elevate you out of this matrix. The veil will get lifted in the presence of Shungite. And, pl and please know that when I talk about Shungite, I'm only talking about the highest grade. This is the elite, noble, shiny, silvery Shungite. Uh, that's the only one we want to be using for healing. Uh, this, is the, this is the lesser grade. I love it as well. This one's wonderful, high vibe stone right here. Uh, it, this one's cheaper, so any shungite that you can get your hands on, yes, get it. I'm telling you, get it. Get shungite. Get shungite tomorrow. Order shungite. Uh, but but the the highest grade one, the one that we really really want, is the elite noble shungite, and it's of course a little more expensive, but it's a shiny silvery. It's. The, I'm telling you, this is the stone right here. The stone's going to do some wonderful, miraculous, magical things for your body. It really will. Uh, I'm going to make, from now on, this channel is going to be solely dedicated to, primarily to Shungite. Because I grow all of my, eventually this channel is going to be a gardening channel, and I grow all of my, look how big this uh, turmeric grew. I mean, this is some that I grew myself. And look at the pigmentation of that turmeric. I mean, tell me that's not going to rocket your vibrations to the stars. That's what the curcuminoids in the rhizome of the curcumin of the turmeric does. Uh, combine that with black pepper. Combine it with shungite. I put shungite in all of my concoctions, lotions, potions, oils, essences, teas. You can put shungite in everything. The elements are what activate the shungite. The air, the water, the soil, the sun... Uh, this is something you can put in your soil to purify the soil. This is something you can put in your water to pull out toxins from your water. Chemicals, heavy metals, poisons, pollutants. It's going to purify the water. It's going to help to purify the air. Uh, that's what Shungite will do. If the air is circulating around the Shungite, uh, this is going to help to purify the air. I always have a Shungite in my diffuser. I keep pieces of shungite in the bottom of my diffuser uh, in an ionizing diffuser and man this is gonna <laughs> this is gonna be all the air that you need to breathe right here uh, this is this is the air this is the kind of air that the lungs should be breathing uh, this air would uh, begin to restructure and repair your cells uh, repair some of the oxidative damage from all of the years of poisonous foods and toxic things we've consumed and bathed in and slathered onto our skin. Uh, we need we need to get ourselves up out of these poisons and toxins and chemicals and awaken the soul. The Shungite is going to help you to purge some of these toxins out quite fast. Uh, I, I recommend in the beginning just simply drinking the water of the Shungite stone. 
uh, get 30 grams of Elite Noble Shungite and put this in water, but charge it in the sun. Uh, to put it in a glass jar, put a cover on it, uh, put it in the sun, let it set a full cycle with the sun and the moon. Uh, do it on a moon, do it on a full moon. Uh, get the full female, get all, get the yin and the yang. Get the prana of the universe, uh, in, in your water. And the shungite is going to not only restructure the water, but it's going to add the fullerene to the water. This water is going, this is the fountain of youth right here, guys. This is a fountain of youth, I will say. I think there are many. I think Sheila G is another fountain of youth. I think we've been blessed with many fountains of youth here, and we just haven't tapped into what they can do for us. Uh, this, it, it, Shungite combines really well with Sheila G. This is, this is a black tar-like substance loaded with folic acid that seeps out of the rocks in the Himalayas. And this, this, uh, this, the Sheila G is is uh, ancient, ancient uh, plant uh, organisms and loaded with fulvic, loaded with minerals and phytonutrients, much much like the shungite. So, if you can do advanced healing, you would want to do Sheila G and shungite uh, and shaga, uh, especially if you want to decalcify the pineal gland. But there's many, many gifts. I mean, we have goji, we have noni, we have acai, we have mangosteen, we have pomegranate, we have wonderful gifts that do many miraculous things. But the shungite is the highest vibration. Uh, like rose is the highest vibration of essential oils. She resonates at 320 hertz. Put some shungite in your rose to amplify the vibration of your rose. Shungite's going to amplify everything. Put it in your organite. Uh, I make my own organite, and you can put slivers of shungite all through that, and you can also you can also grind down the grade three shungite. I like to do that some with. Uh, I order large quantities of the grade three shungite, and I grind some of it down, about half of it, and I use that for organite. And I also make. Uh, shungite resonators, uh, and I just make little packet. I just leave little packets of sand all the way, you know, around my house or around devices. Uh, the the sand is wonderful for uh, the devices. You can keep them inside your uh, bras or underwear or wherever you have pain. If you could, if you can put this shungite directly on location. Uh, the shungite is going to help to take care of you. It really, really will. Uh, so I love to, I love the little, I love a good, you know, sand packet uh, of, uh, oh, I don't know, uh, 12, 13, 14 ounces of uh, sand. And this is going to, uh, you can put this, you, you can get plates of it and put it under your devices. This is what you want to do. Uh, all of your all of your devices, including your cell phone, get get some sort of a shungite transmuter, uh, whether this be a stone or a specific organite uh, made uh, shungite, because you can buy stickers of uh, organite shungite. You can you can you can get shungite comes in many different forms. So just start to do some research on it and start to invest in it because it will change your life. I just like the rough cut. Uh, I buy the rough cut grade three and I buy the rough cut elite. And the elite I use for water and I water my plants with it and I, that's what I give my dog. He drinks this infused water and he has more energy than any other dog I have ever had any contact with. Uh, he has energy all day, every day. Uh, but it, but he's also chill. I mean, my dog is real relaxed. He's real chill. Uh, because I think the Shungai brings him into harmony. It really does. Uh, when he is, uh, when he is afraid, uh, because of the weather or because of the earth moving, uh, I'm in a state where the earth moves a lot, literally. And he will sense this and, the, he will get a drink of the Shungite water. The Shungite water calms him down. It really does. And he knows what it does for him. You know, I've done it. I've, I've kind of tested him on, on that by having a bowl next to the Shungite bowl, uh, to see which water he would drink. And he always chose the, and I even switched out the stones that the bowl was in. So, but he always chose the bowl with the, with the, with the Shungite and see that your, your animals will love this Shungite infused water. 
uh, put about, for, for yourself, put about 30 grams or more. The more we can use of this stone, the better. Uh, and put this in half a gallon of water and let it set a full cycle in the sun and the moon. And then drink this down. Uh, get yourself grounded. I usually, uh, well, I'll make future videos showing you how I act specifically. That was next to my multimeter, so I kind of clinked it. But you, you can recharge your... You can recharge all of your water with just sound. Please know that. This doesn't even have to have, uh, that doesn't even have to have shungite in it for that sound to restructure the water, but the shungite will definitely amplify the vibration because it does release the fullerenes. Uh, so all of your water should contain some shungite. Uh, all the time, the more the better. All of my lotions and potions I include shungite in. At the bottom of my juice glass, there is shungite. Uh, I grind down the grade three, I put them in little uh, packets, and I put them uh, on the bottom of my feet. Uh, you can you can make little detox foot pads with the shungite, uh, bentonite clay, uh, diatomaceous earth, uh, bamboo. Just ma formulate your own little foot. Uh, foot pad with the with the shungite and it's gonna pull heavy metals and toxins out of the body it's going to ground your body instantly shungite is a very grounding stone and it's a very amplifying stone only retains divine essences from when it was created and it only pushes this out so this stone will change your life if you press into it uh, I'm going to probably make a video where I show you how it literally it literally puts a charge on the water I mean it's a literal current it's it's a highly energetic stone that's my uh, cheaper digital multimeter but I've got another one because I'm, I make organite I make resonate I make shungite resonators and you can put these on your pipes uh, of your uh, electrical devices and you know your 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 electrical box that you've got outside your house is what I'm talking about you can put a shungite resonator directly on this as uh, spin it twice with a Tesla coil on both ends uh, with the coil right in the center and the shungite right in the center and drill a hole in your shungite and put the put the single piece of copper through this hole and it pushes all of this energy out. You can put this on your gas tank. It's going to help save you gas. going to help save energy on your electric bill. It's going to help to decrease some of the uh, um, negativity that these things emit. Uh, my car runs much smoother since I put this on my car. Uh, it really does. It, 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 for a while it made it run like a new car again. I mean, very smooth and it used less gas. Uh, and I put this, of course, in the, I dropped it down in the gas tank. Uh, that's where it's at. Uh, and I, I put a magnet on it so that it stays on the side. I mean, I did, I, 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 put it in a place where it wouldn't uh, damage anything else but my point with this is that if you can experiment some with the shungite with the shungite and what it can do for for you and not only your body but your house your car your uh, all everything uh, shungite would purify our ocean you know our fish are literally changing sex in our oceans this is how toxic the water is uh, the water is toxic from the pharmaceuticals. Only a portion of the pharmaceuticals are going inside people, and then these are being excreted out, and uh, what's not excreted out is retained within the liver, and uh, this is ending up in our ocean, and our, our fish are changing sex because of this. And the Koreans have discovered if you uh, put uh, shungite in the water that uh, the, the fish don't do this. Uh, the fish, the water, the water gets purified... There are elite uh, health spas all over the world now that have uh, these shungite rooms, and it's just floor-to-ceiling shungite, and 
if if there's a way, if you're extremely sick, that you can create one of these. Uh, slabs of shungite are fairly inexpensive, and you could get a lot of tiles of them and just make a small little room that you could lay in on shungite. And man, this would be for this would be advanced stages of healing here. If somebody had stage four cancer. Uh, this is what I would do. I would I would lay in this as often as possible. Uh, you can also rectally retain this shungite infusion. I recommend that. Uh, along, rotate it with the coffee, green coffee bean enema, and then juice 15, 16 times a day. This is gonna this is gonna beat your cancer. It's gonna take care of your sickness, uh, AIDS, MS. Let's reverse all of this stuff that we've got going on within our body with the shungite infusion. Uh, and what the Shungite can do for you in various ways. Use it you, more than anything. Use it to protect your vibrations. It's going to block all of the extremely low frequencies, these elves, these electromagnetic frequencies that are hurting our auric field around our vessel. It's going to block and it's going to protect these. So always have some Shungite in your pocket. Uh, the the best form, the best shape of Shungite, if you're buying the grade 3 Shungite, is the sphere. It just pushes any energy out. Actually, the egg is a little bit better, better than that. If you can get a, two pocket eggs for your pockets and just hold these eggs all, all through the day or whenever you feel like you need to. Uh, you want to have the you want to have the shungite plates by your phone. If you carry your phone on you, you want to have your phone completely lined with shungite. If you have a computer, you want to have a whole tile plate of shungite. Uh, you want to have a tile plate underneath it. And you want to have a pyramid or a cube or something uh, on top of it or next to it. It's it's not going to affect the vibrations of your devices. Please know to where the devices no longer work. What it's going to do is it's going to transmute those vibrations into uh, frequency that is healing to our body. Uh, that's what it does. So it, shungite is shungite is going to amplify the other stones, the other oils, the other essences. If you can. What I recommend doing with the Shungite, one thing I, for advanced healing you can do with the Shungite is, usually when you buy the grade 3 Shungites, they're all rough cuts. They're, they're, that you can't polish the grade 3, you can't polish the highest grade Shungite. This is the grade 1 Shungite, rather. I think I said grade 3 earlier, but this is grade 1 Shungite, elite noble Shungite. This is the only kind of Shungite you really need to be buying for internal consumption. Uh, the other is great for purification of water, like in an emergency emergency type situation. But this one's going to contain more fullerene. Uh, th this was deposited a blessing, and when it was deposited, it seeped into uh, the other elements that were around it. And so, because of this, we have the grade three, which is the lesser carbon grade shungite. So the the core of it is the real deal, baby. And see, this is what we want to be getting. Uh, use use the grade three for your body and your devices. Use the grade one for internal consumption. Uh, you, but please know that I I I use this for everything. I don't really use my the 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 grade three shungite I have now. I I I use for the uh, organite. I mainly grind it down uh, because you can do many things with the powder. Uh, put. Put, put them in some beeswax, melt some beeswax, and fill 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 a, a muffin tin up with beeswax, a stainless steel muffin tin up or copper muffin tin up with beeswax, and sprinkle some of this shungai sand uh, in first. Sprinkle it on the bottom in first. Spray it with coconut oil, of course, before that, and then sprinkle sprinkle this shungite water on it, and then pour in the warm wax, and you can also sprinkle some larger pieces of shungite in that, and you've got yourself a charging plate for your water, for your food. Uh, you can put these uh, by your body. You can put them around your body to protect your vibrations. You can put them under your pillow. Uh, make some organite with the shung shungite. Uh, I'm serious. Uh, it's a it's a very very strong on the bovis meter, very very strong uh, for healing and repairing and restoring. It it does everything, <laughs> it really does, and so I'm I am super excited about 
sharing this information on on what it does. I'm I'm going to do so many videos on Shungite. Uh, I'll probably create just a playlist for the videos that I'm going to do because I'm going to do an entire series on how we can make Shungite infusions and what we can do with the Shungite. And this is just a basic introduction. So I will I will go more into uh, specifically mechanisms of action and probably more about what it is exactly in future videos. But I just wanted to kind of get get you excited about it because this stone could very well change your life. It did mine. It really did. Uh, I, I put it on my root uh, a lot in the beginning, and it really helped to balance the energy in the, in the base and the root. And the, the sacral energy is what we need to start with, your, your colon and your liver. It helped, ba it helped to detoxify my colon and liver. So use it for the base energy and then, and then unlock the other vibrations all the way up. Uh, you know, energy flows in a current. Uh, like the kundalini, it flows in a spiral. And the the Shungite flows this same energy. And it's going to amplify your energy tremendously. You'll you'll feel it when you just buy a piece. If you buy a piece this large uh, and you're real sensitive to energies, you want to be sitting down when you first hold a stone of this high vibration. Uh, because it very well might... You very well might fall over if you're real sensitive to the, you know, a lot of people are real sensitive to crystals. Uh, you know, if you're awakened, so you are. And so you can literally feel how different stones vibrate. And uh, the Shungite is a super, super fierce compared to many other stones. It, the, the other stone that I have that is remotely similar to it vibratory-wise is my is my moldavite and it it resonates quite quite high as well but the i've got a couple of pieces of moldavite but the but the shungite is moldavite is a, a meteorite and this is the reason why it resonates like the shungite i mean i'm telling you this shungite is otherworldly i mean it it was it was given to us as a blessing and we need to we need to tap into this blessing to heal our condition uh, that's exactly what it's going to do so Start taking an infusion of Shungite in some way, shape, or form. Uh, I recommend starting with the water. Just drink the water. Then then start to incorporate maybe it in a uh, coffee retention enema. Hold it for 15 or 20 minutes. And and while you're while you're uh, doing this uh, and you're continuing to juice and you're continuing to detoxify your body, uh, then then increase and start to use some essential oils with the shungite. If you can put on essential oils of frankincense and myrrh, uh, put this concoction on your body with the base of black cumin seed oil, and then you can set the shungite stone directly on this. You what you can do is. You can use the Shungite stone to give yourself a lymphatic skin brush. Uh, if you buy the grade three Shungite, this is the, I'm sorry, grade one Shungite, this is the Noble Elite Shungite, you can use this to uh, give yourself a lymphatic, a lymphatic detox of your skin. It's going to flush out all the toxins from your skin, all the impurities out of your skin. See, we got to clean the dermal layer of our skin. Uh, our skin is toxic. We've been absorb absorbing poisons and pollutants from the air. You know, simply from going outside, you're getting all these poisons and pollutants. So you have to work to remove some of these. So I recommend using coconut oil and tur a little bit of turpentine. Uh, lather, your, lather your body up with this and then and then take this stone all the way up and down, up and down, up and down. And you'll be amazed at what comes out of your skin. Uh, they make devices that do that. Chinese medicine's been doing that a long time. And I'll make a video on that sometime because we need to start doing that. Uh, we need to start cleansing the skin. But if you'll take the Shungite stone and do that, you'll find that it'll help to literally pull out these nanometals. If I had a tumor or cyst, I would put this directly on uh, my tumor or my cyst. Uh, you know, that and the combination of the cyst formula that I, I gave you in the last video with the Manuka and the Zeolite... You could put powdered shungite in that, and I believe this would take care of many of our tumors and our cysts. I'm serious. Uh, if you, you can do many wonderful things with the ground down grade three shungite, so get some and just grind it down yourself, and fill fill little organic cotton pouches up with it, and put these. 
put these all over your house. Put these inside your clothes. Uh, put these inside your the, your shoes. Uh, put these inside your pillows. Put these around your children. Uh, the my favorite shape is the egg. Next to that's probably the well, next to that would be just the rough cut like this. I mean, this is kind of a pyramid within itself, but I like the pyramid too, and I like the cubes. But the eggs and the spheres are my favorite. Uh, and then the highest vibe shun guide is the, is the organite that you can make yourself. If you can structure it correctly in an organite with a Tesla coil, a copper coil running all through it, uh, it's gonna push this, uh, it's gonna push this energy out even farther. So just know that. And I will make future videos on how we can make our own uh, Shungite resonators. I'll share with you how I made mine. I, I found somebody else that made made a Shungite resonator, and so I ordered one, and I studied it. And I, I could definitely feel the vibrations of it, but I knew that it could be amplified, so I just added a little bit to it. Uh, I added a few more rings around the coil to make it more balanced, I felt. And so I will make a video sharing that with you and you can make your own and you can put this on your, uh, you can put this on your car, you can put this on your, uh, hot water tank, you can put this on the pipes in your house that it, it's going to help to restructure the water that's in, even, even in the pipes. Uh, so there's not much that this stone won't do. I'm serious. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, you guys have a great day.